520 kilometers away from Uganda's capital Kampala lies the city of Arua in the northwest of the country. Created on the 28th of April 2020, the new regional city will begin operations soon on the 1st of July the same year. And indeed, true to many assertions, Arua hit the ground running. The strategic location on a trade route linking Uganda, South Sudan and the Democratic Republic of Congo makes Arua an investment destination of choice. Cross-border trade coupled with improved road and communication networks fit into the city's vision of a vibrant, inclusive, modern and adaptable city, the hub of trade and industry. South Sudan and the DR Congo are just a stone's throw away from this city. The Bank of Uganda Currency Center is only one in a total of nearly 20 banks supporting trade and commerce, microfinance institutions and currency exchange points or better known as Forex Bureaus are a common site. This city simply supports the ever-evolving cashless economy. A multi-billion market sits in the center of Arua City. Hundreds, perhaps thousands of people throng here on a daily to earn their living. Trailers and lorries are often seen loading or floating goods. And this is the main center where the people get their basic household goods. A modern taxi park next to the market doesn't only ensure orderly parking, but the storied lockup enclosures offer more space for businesses. This is yet another beehive of activity. Arua's steady growth is traced back to colonial times, having attained town board status in the 1930s and since elevation to a municipality by President Idi Amin in 1974, the tiny bird of the small town then has never looked back. The incorporation of the former Ayivu County as part of the city breathed new life. Previously, the municipality at only 10.5 square kilometers was the smallest in the country. Now at 413.7 square kilometers, the potential for development is enormous thanks to land availability in the outskirts. The city is headed by a mayor and further divided into divisions, also headed by division mayors. The former municipality consisting of Oli and Arua Hill divisions then were merged to form the central division, while the other, a merger of the previous seven sub-counties of Ayiv County, forming Ayiv Division. A vastly grown road network facilitates movement to and from the city. The World Bank supported Usmid projects have particularly seen a number of first-class roads built to internally connect the city's mobility. Roads including Idi Amin, Lemerijoa, Adwa, School Road, among others with solar street lighting, have too added beauty to the streets. Arua City's public transport is arguably the country's second busiest after Kampala. Buses, for instance, move throughout the 24-hour cycle. Taxis in their uncountable numbers are especially helpful for shorter routes. The airfield is fully operational and mooted for an upgrade into an international airport. Once achieved, experts predict it will open the region and her neighbors to the rest of the world. This city is the center of religious activity. The gigantic Emmanuel Cathedral, the seat of the Anglican Bishop of Marie and West Nile Diocese, stands about two kilometers to the east of the city center. A regular place of religious pilgrimage giving rise to an upscale suburb of Mvara, where it is located. On the western stretch, just a kilometer away in Idiofe, the trademark buildings of the Komboni missionaries still stand to date. This 
is the headquarters of the Catholic Diocese of Arua. Perhaps one of the city's most popular settlements, Ediofe is home to numerous institutions, schools, a media center, health centers, vocational institutions, leisure and hospitality centers, among others sprouting from the initial seed of the church. The regional cardio of the Islamic faith is based here too. Mosques dotted across the city center often buzz with the sound of call to prayer, and the Islamic faithful soon respond to fulfill the obligations. New and fast-growing Pentecostal churches too form this very diverse religious setup of the city. The development of Arua Hill Stadium and Business Park, a first of its kind model of public private partnership in the country, promises to raise sport to another level. The love of sport in the city and indeed the West Nile region is unparalleled, evidenced by the enormous support given to Ndoparaka and Arua Hill football clubs since joining the highest club competition in the country, thereby building enviable fan bases. The city council has a steadily rising football team. The optimism and investment in the team are correlated enough to know that the hope of playing the highest club football in the Uganda Premier League is not distant. Doka Sinjikuru, a 3,000 meter steeple chess gold medalist and the Peace Proskovia, the all decorated netball star, hail from this sporting city of diverse disciplines. The city boasts the biggest golf course in northern Uganda and indeed one of the best in the country. The green space and the trees are as refreshing as the fresh air they provide to the city residents. The potential as an educational destination is vast. Moni, a public university, sits just two kilometers south of the city center in the expansive land adjacent to the National Teachers College and the prestigious Moni Girls Secondary School. The fortunes of Moni area, sparsely populated in the past, changed so quickly thanks to these educational institutions. Uganda Christian University, Makerere University Business School, Bogema, Islamic University, and the Nile Universities all have centers in this city, serving hundreds of both local and international students. Arua boasts some of the country's oldest and prestigious secondary schools, St. Joseph's Ombachi, Vara, Ediofe girls among the cream of the country, the nursing school, the core primary teachers college and a host of technical schools only serve as evidence of the city's diverse educational setup. Arua City, at the turn of the new millennium onwards, has given rise to numerous hotels of international repute, offering first-class services to the constant traffic of visitors to and from the city. The White Castle, Heritage, Desert Breeze, the Golden Courts, Brion Crane, Santa Maria, Les Schuba, and the newest, Le Confidential, Headline this list of hotels in this fast-growing industry. The referral hospital in the center of the city serves populations across the borders in Congo and South Sudan. Numerous private health entities have rightfully put the city as a center of health medical referrals by offering additional services. The cultural diversity of Arua City is unique among her regional city peers. The hospitality of the people in the face of diversity is an example to emulate for many. No wonder the city's mission, 
is to improve the livelihoods of the population through provision of holistic quality and accessible socioeconomic services. Welcome to Arua City.